Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from mid-October to mid-November. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. All right, Virgo. Okay, so your challenge, Virgo, from now until mid-November is the Ace of Cups. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Temperance, okay? So your biggest, biggest challenge here between now and mid-November is the Ace of Cups. Now, this could be new love. It could be a new beginning in love. It could be someone new coming into your life. Um, or you can simply just be single and you may be finding it challenging to actually attract new love. We're gonna clarify the Ace of Cups. We're gonna see why it's your challenge in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and you have the Knight of Pentacles. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel that um, you were involved maybe with someone here you uh, maybe you met somebody or you slowly attracted someone new into your life. And uh, there's something here in the past Virgo about you still holding on to something, okay? Holding on to maybe, you know, a person, place or thing. We're gonna find out when we clarify. Now in the present moment for you, Virgo, you have the six of pentacles, you have the wheel of fortune and you have the two of pentacles. There's a choice or a decision in the present moment. I feel like this choice or decision in the present moment has a lot to do with whether or not you're gonna continue to give to something. It could be a person, a place, a relationship, a thing, a family member situation. There's something here about Christmas. I don't know why I'm getting that, but there's something here about December. You could be planning something important in December or there may be a decision or a choice. Now this reading is only for November, but that's what I'm intuitively getting for you. There may be some sort of important message there for you. Now you also have the Wheel of Fortune as well. So I feel with the Wheel of Fortune in the present moment, there's a huge opportunity. We're gonna uncover what that opportunity is for you so you can be aware of it. And we're gonna see this could be connected to some sort of decision that you may need to make, okay? Now, in the near future, you have the Three of Pentacles, you have the Page of Swords, and you have the Two of Swords. So in the near future with the Two of Swords, there's a very strong energy here of maybe being closed off, maybe being uncertain about a situation needing or wanting more clarity on it. This could be about collaborating, coming together with certain groups of people. You may be starting a project or you may want to initiate a project in the near future, but there may be some sort of blocked energy and there may be a reason why this is happening. And we're gonna talk about it when we clarify. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Virgo, Temperance, the Five of Swords and the Four of Swords. So something here is gonna take time to change, to morph, to transform. This has a lot to do with maybe the past. Some of you are still healing from the past. You maybe you're still healing from a third party or maybe um, healing from something here that affected you on a very deep level. The good news here is, is that a lot of you are gonna finally get clear on whether or not you wanna commit yourself to someone or whether or not you want to um, stay single. So this could be a critical decision or choice that you may, um, you may be making from now until um, I would say, you know, the end of the year, okay? So let's get into your reading, Virgo, and let's see what is going on for you. Okay, let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so the Ace of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So your biggest challenge here between now and mid-November has a lot to do with your happiness, your fulfillment, okay? Now, if this is about love, which it is for many of you, this is the love messages. So we talk about relationships on this channel. Uh, if this is about you attracting new love, it is gonna come in between now and mid-November. If you haven't had that come into your life, it's coming in. The Ace of Cups is all about brand new beginnings. It's all about love. It's all about, you know, some of you may be pregnant. There is possibility of a new beginning here. Your challenge has a lot to do with getting clear on what you want, being very logical, not emotional, not emotional, 
but being logical because when you're logical, okay, in this situation, what is going to follow is the emotions. Okay. The emotions are there. You don't have to worry about the emotions. The emotions are there. It's the logical process that you were creating in your mind to actually create the type of events that you want to happen outside of yourself that are going to lead to the happiness that you seek. Do you understand? That's how it works. So there's something here, Virgo, about you needing to go through a process and understanding, understanding, and overstanding that process to actually get and attract what you want. Cause it's there, that ability to attract and get what you want. It's there. It's a matter of you making the necessary steps to do that. So queen of swords energy is what you're being called to enter into, which is a part of your challenge because you may not be very much connected to the queen of swords, but if you are, then it's a perfect time to uh, embody that energy because when you embody that energy, you you start to get clear on what it is that you want, how you want this new love to go, the direction you want it to go and what it's going to take for you to feel happy about it. Okay. Because what's going to follow that is one satisfaction and two happiness but it's going to require you to be logical about the situation. And that's what I see as a part of your challenge. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the four of pentacles in the recent past. So the four of pentacles is clarified by the ace of swords. You have the judgment and you have the emperor. So in the recent past with the emperor here, I do strongly feel that you were involved in a situation that brought a lot of stability into your life. And it, you know, came to your attention in the past that the right thing to do would be to hold on to the situation. Why should I let the situation go? If it's something that's going to bring me the stability that I'm looking for, there was still a lot of anxiety and fear connected to this, um, situation that you were holding on to in the past, because there was some sort of power struggles. I do feel in the background, eventually something here came to an end and you disconnected maybe from this person because they were on and off with you, a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Some of you took your time to maybe move towards this person or make an offer to this person. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles in the recent past for Virgo. So the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Wands and you have the Sun. So in the recent past with the Sun here, um, you may have given somebody a second chance here that you disconnected from because you thought it was the right thing to do. And it was very difficult for you, Virgo, to disconnect from something here in the past that again, brought a lot of stability. It had a lot of potential here, but there was some sort of on and off energy between you and this person in the past is what I'm getting. Tell me more about the queen of pentacles in the recent past for Virgo. What is it that they need to know about the recent past? You have the page of pentacles, the devil and the knight of swords. The reason why you may have cut this person off or why they cut you off was because something here was never stable on the surface. It looked stable on the surface. It looked like it had potential, but in the background there was issues. Okay. I'm seeing one, two, two on the clock connected to your past. So you're going to want to check out what one, two, two means for you. There could be an important message. A lot of you are involved in some sort of toxic connection or relationship. And as much as you wanted to give to this, and as much as you felt like there was some sort of potential, I do feel like there was a disconnect and something here ended up maybe not being stable for you. So as a result of that, a lot of you accepted the fact that something here didn't work out. You accepted the fact that maybe you gave, you know, somebody here in the past, a second chance, you try to make something work. Um, but I see you disconnecting that you disconnected from something here in the past, or this person disconnected from you because something here never really got off the ground even though it looked like it had potential. Now in the present moment, it looks like the universe is working for you. Okay. How is the universe working for you? Well, the wheel of fortune's here. So the wheel of fortune in the present moment is talking about some sort of major change that's coming in the eclipses. You know, we're having them now in October. We're not going to feel these eclipses until the next six months. Okay. Some of you have already felt them, you know, six months before some of us are going to feel them six months from now. And this is what the wheel of fortune represents because the wheel of fortune represents cycles and it represents the four seasons. And what happens during the four seasons is change. Okay. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about what change is coming in for you and what opportunities, because the wheel of fortune is all about what opportunities are coming in for you. Tell me more about the wheel of fortune for Virgo in the present moment. What do they need to know? So 
So the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Two of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So in the present moment, there's a choice and the choice is very much connected to whether or not you're going to give someone an opportunity, whether you're gonna give a situation a chance. There is still some sort of trust issues, okay, in the present moment. And this is what's uh, hindering you from maybe making this decision in the present moment. Some of you are questioning whether or not you should stay in a situation and work it out or disconnect altogether. And there's a lot of confusion connected to the situation that is connected to maybe a tower moment. So, you know, in the present moment, you're at a crossroads is what I'm getting. Tell me more about the six of pentacles in the present moment for Virgo. What is it that they need to know? So the six of pentacles is clarified by the ace of wands. You have the three of wands and you have the 10 of pentacles. Now in the present moment, there's an opportunity here to have a new beginning. I see you, um, making a decision about whether or not you're going to travel towards this person, or if you are going to have them travel to you. Okay. So if this is about your work situation, I see an opportunity for you overseas to start something new. Okay. There, that could be some sort of confirmation for you. For others of you, this is about making a decision in the present moment about whether or not you're going to have a new beginning with this person, because a lot of you do want to have a new beginning and the new beginning is presenting itself to you. Ace of cups. Tell me more about this choice or decision in the present moment for Virgo. What is it that they need to know? So the two of pentacles is clarified by the knight of pentacles, the three of cups and the empress. So it's taking you time to maybe celebrate or come together with this person. It's almost like you're taking action, but you're not taking action in the present moment. So what I see here for you is a choice or decision that's going to be made in November, closer to the end of October. And you're reevaluating whether or not you want this. Okay. So it's going to be your up to you. It's, it's your choice. Um, but I see one of the things that I see for you, Virgo is, is that if you're willing to step outside of your comfort zone, it's going to lead to abundance. If you're somebody who's not willing to expand, you're not willing to step outside of your comfort zone. You're playing it safe all the time. Well, no risk, no gain. Okay. So just keep that in mind. I know a lot of you don't want to have to go through what you went through in the past where something looked amazing and great, but then when you finally went for it, um, it ended up not working out. The wheel of fortune also has a message here for you. When something is for you, it's going to present itself in a certain way and it's going to feel right. If you're questioning something all the time and it doesn't feel right, it may not be for you. So if it's been hard for you to make some sort of decision in the present moment, it's been hard for you to make a decision in the present moment because you haven't gotten clear on it. And this is why your challenge has a lot to do with the queen of swords because the queen of swords is very cutthroat. She doesn't waste time. She doesn't. She knows exactly what she wants. She plans accordingly, and then she takes the steps necessary to do that. But for some reason, there's an issue here with you being able to do that. Okay. I'm going to be straight up with you. I'm not going to, there's no, you know, I'm not trying to sugarcoat everything here. Okay. So we're going to keep it real. So this is about you making an important decision, but I feel like this decision has a lot to do with you stepping outside of the comfort zone. When you step outside of that comfort zone, all the abundance comes to you because now you are no longer, um, you know, waiting for something to happen, you're actually making it happen. Okay. By putting yourself in, in, in a situation where you actually have to work and think and, and, and contribute. Okay. That's what I'm seeing happening for you in the present moment. Now in the near future, I'm really strongly getting with the two of swords. Um, there's some sort of closed off energy and I'm not sure why this is showing up. Tell me more about the two of swords. Why is it here for Virgo and what is it that they need to know? So the two of swords is clarified by the high priestess. You have the four of wands and you have the six of wands. So in the near future, I think one thing that, you know, what spirit is telling you here in the near future is you need to listen to your intuition because your intuition is going to be very much heightened. Okay. With the high priestess here, there's a closed off energy in the near future because you're not hundred percent sure about marrying somebody, committing to someone or being in a relationship with them. You want the situation to be successful, but the question you need to ask yourself Virgo is how is something supposed to be successful if you're not open to it? Okay. This is a big, big thing. A lot of us still need to heal before we move forward. And this could be something that you need to do in the near future. Um, getting clear on what you want is like what the whole reading is about. Okay. Some of you may watch this and say, I know what I want. It's still not coming. 
it's not just knowing what you want, but it's also about being knowing what you want, but then actually taking the steps to do it. And that's what I feel like a lot of you are going to recognize that you need to do in the near future. Cause there's a lot of questioning here, right? About a relationship. A lot of you are not ready to have a new, as much as a new beginning presents itself in the near future, you're not a hundred percent ready. And and or your person may not be ready because somebody here acts like they're not interested. Even though, again, whatever happened in the past, it's repeating again because you didn't learn the lesson. A lot of you may not like the reading. You may say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, but this is what the cards are saying, right? So the three of swords and the four of cups is I'm still hurt. I'm worried you're going to take advantage of me. I'm worried that, you know, this isn't going to work out just like it didn't work out in the past. Resolve those issues first. Those need to be resolved first. That may mean having an important conversation with your person. That may be about expressing how you feel. Your fear is connected to this new beginning because there is a fear here. Page of swords and the fool. It's like, ooh, well, if I do have this new beginning, what if it doesn't work out? What if I'm hurt? What if this did, you know, so there's all these things here that are buzzing through your mind, but there's going to be certain people, certain groups, certain people around you that you can collaborate with and come together that are going to help you and show you what you need to do to have this new beginning. Cause it's a process for you. It's not something that's just going to happen right away. It's a process. Okay. And if you're still in pain and you're still hurt, it's important that you resolve those issues first. Okay. Or whoever you're dealing with. In the near future, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, and you have the Two of Swords. So the reason why you're closed off here in the near future is because it's not that you don't know what you want. It looks like you do know what you want, but there's still this unresolved pain. And one of the things that I've been mentioning with this eclipse season that's happening is if you have unresolved issues with someone from the past, write a letter, call them, email them, and release them correctly. That means releasing them without anger, resentment, hatred, etc. These are going to be important things for you because a new cycle is coming in. In the near future, you feel that Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, and there's certain people, there's going to be a, a group of people or certain people that you can collaborate with in your work. And these people are going to help you realize that, hey, you don't need to always be blocked. You don't need to always have your guard up because a lot of you were taken advantage of in the past or something here didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. And this is what you're learning. You're learning not to feel like you have to defend yourself all the time, that you always have to have your guard up. You know, it's okay to just be yourself and live. And this is what the, you know, what follows is the four of swords and the temperance. So what it's saying is over time, you're going to heal from the past, but as you heal, and you clear up the trauma connected to your past, the more you need to get clear on what you want. Okay. Seven of cups and the king of cups, which is going to lead to some sort of commitment, but you know, you're still working through this pain. There's something here about you still being in pain and it's one thing to acknowledge it. It's another thing to ignore it. So the question you need to ask yourself, Virgo, are you ignoring your pain and pretending like it's not there? Or are you confronting it and dealing with it the way the queen of swords would? Because once you do that, it's only up from there. Okay. That's what spirit is saying to you. That's a very important message for you. Okay. So let's get some advice for you, Virgo. What is the advice? Okay, what's your advice for go? You have the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, and you have the Seven of Cups. Just exactly what I just said. It's a very clear piece of advice. Your biggest piece of advice is if you truly want to be loved, you truly want a commitment, you truly want to feel safe and guarded uh, in whatever it is that you're doing, whatever you're committing yourself to, you need to get clear. There's too much distraction. Some of you are super distracted. I'm seeing 133 on the clock. Check out what 133 means in angel numbers. There could be an important message here for you. You are super, super distracted. Okay. You have tons and tons of things going on. Minimize your distractions. Okay. Create a schedule. Make sure that whatever it is you're committing to, it's something that you're hundred percent sure you are wanting to commit yourself to. The more you're unsure about what you want, the more distractions, the more confusion, the less organized you are, the more you are uncertain about your future. And this is what creates some sort of inconsistency. So now that a new beginning is presenting itself, you're being tested. And the test here is to become logical and grounded when you're logical and grounded and you're not overly emotional, which is what the seven of cups represents. It represents an overload, an overload of emotion, an overload of um, distractions, 
um, being overly consumed by things in the world. This is about you minimizing your environment, you know, becoming a minimalist, uh, minimalist, um, getting rid of what you don't really need, keeping what you want and, and, and really being focused. The more you're focused on something, the more grounded you are, the more logical you are and grounded, the more you're going to attract commitment into your life. The more you're going to attract stability into your life, the more you're going to attract that grounded energy you're looking for. That's your biggest piece of advice. Do not allow small little things to distract you because what that does is it takes you off your course and it leads to pain and trauma. Okay. This is your biggest piece of advice, Virgo. I hope you got something from the reading. Thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one. Bye.